Welcome, dear friends, to a journey like no other. Today, we are going to embark on a virtual tour of the most charming places in France. Over the next 10 minutes, we'll be whisked away to the cobblestone streets of Paris, the sun-soaked shores of the French Riviera, the opulent halls of the Palace of Versailles, the towering spires of Mont Saint-Michel, and the rustic charm of the Dordogne region. Each of these destinations is a jewel in France's crown, boasting a unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty that sets it apart from the rest. We'll dive into what makes each of these places special, from the iconic architecture to the mouth-watering cuisine, and everything in between. So, tighten your seatbelts as we begin this exciting journey through the land of wine and cheese, art and romance, France. Our first stop is none other than the iconic Eiffel Tower in the heart of Paris. Rising majestically over the city of love, the Eiffel Tower is a testament to the ingenuity and vision of one man, Gustave Eiffel. Constructed as the entrance to the 1889 World's Fair, it was initially met with scorn by many Parisians. However, over time, it has become a beloved symbol of the city and a beacon to travelers worldwide. The architectural significance of the Eiffel Tower cannot be understated. It stands as a marvel of 19th century engineering, with its intricate iron latticework and unmistakable silhouette. It's a testament to the audacity of human imagination, challenging the very limits of what's possible with over 18,000 individual iron pieces held together by more than two and a half million rivets. As you ascend the tower, each level offers a new perspective of Paris. The first level houses a restaurant, the second a gift shop, but it's the view from the top that's truly awe-inspiring. From the summit, the city unfolds before you like a beautiful tapestry, with the Seine River snaking through the heart of Paris, cutting a swath through the city's architectural masterpieces. The Eiffel Tower is more than an architectural marvel, it's a symbol of French resilience and creativity. It has weathered wars and seen generations come and go, yet it still stands, a beacon of hope and a testament to human ingenuity. And when the sun sets, the Eiffel Tower transforms into a beacon of light, with 20,000 bulbs illuminating the Parisian night. The spectacle is nothing short of magical, casting a warm glow over the city and making the tower shimmer like a star fallen to earth. From its shimmering lights at night to the panoramic views from its top, the Eiffel Tower truly symbolizes the elegance and charm of Paris. It is not just a tower, but an embodiment of French spirit and a symbol of human triumph over the constraints of nature and time. Moving away from the city lights, we find ourselves in the stunning French Riviera. Here, the Mediterranean Sea meets the shore in a dazzling spectacle of azure waters and sandy beaches, stretching as far as the eye can see. This is a place where the sun seems to shine just a little brighter, and days are filled with the allure of the sea and the whisper of the soft, salty breeze. The Riviera is not just about natural beauty, but also about the glamorous lifestyle it offers. It's a playground for the rich and famous, hosting the world-renowned Cannes Film Festival, where stars descend to grace the red carpet. Lavish yachts, like floating palaces, dot the coast, each one a testament to the opulence that defines this region. The French Riviera, with its blend of natural beauty and glitz, is the epitome of luxury and relaxation. It's a place where the good life is not just a dream, but a sumptuous, sun-drenched reality. Next, we travel back in time to the opulent Palace of Versailles. Imagine the year is 1682. Louis XIV, the Sun King, shifts the royal court from Paris to this grand edifice, marking a new era of absolute monarchy in France. Versailles is more than a palace. It's a symbol of the absolute power of the ancient regime. The palace's architecture is a masterful blend of classical French and Italian Renaissance styles, designed for both aesthetic appeal and to showcase the king's wealth and power. From the gleaming hall of mirrors, where kings and queens once danced, to the king's grand apartments, every corner of the palace exudes opulence. The exterior of the palace is equally impressive. The facade, stretching over half a mile, is adorned with intricate sculptures and embellishments, reflecting the grandeur within. But the true gem of Versailles might just be its gardens. Designed by André Lenotre, the gardens are a masterpiece of symmetry and precision dotted with over 200 statues, fountains, and monuments. The Garden of Versailles is a haven of tranquility amidst the grandeur. Here you'll find meticulously manicured lawns, geometric flower beds, and a series of grand canals reflecting the sky. It's a place where nature and artifice intertwine in perfect harmony. In the summer, 
the gardens come alive with the Grands O, a magnificent water show set to Baroque music. At night, the gardens transform into a magical wonderland, illuminated by thousands of flickering lights. Versailles is more than a destination, it's an experience, a journey into a world of elegance and extravagance, where every detail tells a story about the grandeur of the French monarchy. Today, visitors from around the globe flock to Versailles, not just to marvel at its beauty, but also to understand its historical significance. The Palace of Versailles, a testament to the grandeur of French royalty, continues to captivate visitors with its timeless beauty. Uh, from royal grandeur, we shift our gaze to the ethereal beauty of Mont Saint-Michel. This island commune in Normandy sits one kilometer off the country's northwestern coast at the mouth of the Cunon River. Its unique location makes it a spectacle of nature's drama, as the surrounding bay experiences some of the highest tides in Europe. Yet it's not just the dramatic landscape that draws the eye. Mont Saint-Michel is crowned by a medieval abbey, a marvel of Gothic architecture that seems to touch the sky. For centuries, this has been a place of pilgrimage, a beacon of faith standing resolute amidst the shifting tides. Its intricate design, the delicate spires, and the grandeur of its fortifications have earned it a place as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This enchanting combination of nature's might and human ingenuity makes Mont Saint-Michel a must-visit destination. Mont Saint-Michel, with its majestic abbey rising from the sea, is truly a sight to behold. Finally, we find ourselves in the serene Dordogne region, known for its picturesque villages and prehistoric caves. Often overlooked in favor of the glitz and glamour of Paris or the sun-soaked beaches of the Riviera, the Dordogne is a treasure waiting to be unearthed. Nestled in the southwest corner of France, the Dordogne region is a tapestry of rolling hills, verdant vineyards, and dense forests. It's a place where time seems to slow down, allowing you to savor each moment. The air here is scented with the earthy aroma of truffles and the sweet fragrance of blooming flowers. The region is dotted with charming medieval villages that seem as though they have been plucked straight out of a fairy tale. But the real allure of the Dordogne lies beneath the surface, quite literally. The region is home to a network of prehistoric caves, the walls of which are adorned with some of the oldest known art in the world. These ancient masterpieces offer a glimpse into the lives of our earliest ancestors, their hopes, fears, and daily routines etched into the stone for eternity. The most famous of these caves is Lascaux, often referred to as the Sistine Chapel of Prehistoric Art. The intricate paintings found within its chambers depict a variety of animals, from horses and bulls to deer and ibex. These images, rendered with surprising detail and skill, provide a fascinating insight into the minds of the prehistoric humans who created them. The Dordogne region is a place where the past and present coexist beautifully. It's a place where you can stroll through a medieval village in the morning, explore a prehistoric cave in the afternoon, and relax with a glass of local wine as the sun sets over the hills. It's a place of simplicity, beauty, and deep-rooted history. The Dordogne region, with its blend of natural beauty and ancient history, is a hidden gem waiting to be explored. And that, dear friends, concludes our virtual tour of the most charming places in France. We embarked on a journey that began with the iconic Eiffel Tower, an enduring symbol of Paris. Then we whisked you off to the sun-soaked French Riviera, a playground for the rich and famous. Our adventure continued at the Grand Palace of Versailles, a testament to the opulence of France's royal past. We then visited the fairy tale like island commune of Mont Saint-Michel, a jewel in the crown of France's heritage sites. Lastly, we explored the picturesque Dordogne region, where the past and present blend seamlessly. Each of these destinations offers its own unique charm, a blend of history, culture, and natural beauty that is quintessentially French. We hope this tour has inspired you to explore these wonders yourself, to delve deeper into the heart of France and discover what makes it truly magical. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, au revoir and safe travels.